There's a timing to the things of God. There's Bible for that. In everything, there's a season. And we really feel that the season for bringing together people, not only young people, but people of all persuasions. If there's one word that summarizes what this session is all about, it's about relationship. Say relationship. relationship. That's really what it's all about. We're not here to just talk about what young people should do in honoring police officers, by the way, which is very, very important, not just young people, but people in general, because it benefits you. But it also is a session that's really designed to help people understand, police officers in particular, some of the thought processes of the people from their perspective. I was always told, and my environment was such where it was not just my parents, but it was also being in a church environment where you're in an institution that represents honor and respect. So I would see men and how they talk to one another. I would see women, how they talk and uplift one another. And I could see how submitting to authority was important because that shapes your impression of what a man should be. There's no real hustle, <laughs> right? Let's get that out of the way. All of us have a level of dysfunction we have to learn how to navigate through and we're able to navigate through it a lot clearer uh, when God is working with us not to mean that we just because God on our side we're not going to deal with pain uh, but we'll be learning how to navigate through it with God so that's why I think with this job I have patience with people we eat, you know because I get it you know I made oh you know because I, I wasn't always a cop I did a lot of bad things uh, and then in our group, we were really talking about how, like, the news and social media tries to make police officers and pin, like, police officers and black people against each other, or people in general. And then we started talking about, like, how if you respect and comply, uh, comply then officers will respect you back. How do you become a man? And how do you learn? How do you learn? By focusing and paying attention and copying what they do. You know, in the absence of a father, every man here has a duty to step up and provide some type of uh, some type of support from a fatherly standpoint. If during that day we can interact with people and they make us laugh, and I mean, we love that. If we have a bad experience with a citizen, we don't just say, because that person was bad, you bad. So, and citizens need to do that with police officers. If, if you have a bad experience with a police officer, don't you assume that I'm bad? Because all my friends, we the coolest cops to ever live. Because when you get pulled over, we decide from talking to you and walking back to the car if you're going to get a ticket or not. So when we go back to the car, we just really checking you out, running your name, make sure you don't have no warrants or nothing. But if you cool, get out of here. Have a nice day, slow down. So you young people, that respect factor is huge. It's so huge. Things happen, even though you have to listen to them, there's always avenues that you can take. You know, I always say, listen to the officer, follow the directions. Even if you think you're right, and even if you are right, follow the directions because there's always an avenue you can take. The body cameras, there's, we have cameras in the car, cameras on the body, people are videotaping it. If he is wrong, deal with that after the fact, just to be safe. Because like I said, there's bad things out there, but you can always deal with it. Go file complaints. If you have video, tell them they pull the body camera. He did this to me. He said this. You know, he treated me bad. He hit me for no reason. Let me go after that. Follow that path. Because the bad ones like the George Floyd, you just don't want that to end like that. So Today I was going to talk to you about the challenge of change. The challenge of change. So to be an agent of change, I'm talking about tangible change, real change, it requires work, effort, it requires sacrifice. Real change comes with a price. See, there's no such thing as charity and change. It doesn't work that way. And the issue with asking for charity and change, for me, it's talks of, it's, for me, it's the notion of victimization compared to victory. It's the notion that I am powerless instead of I am powerful. It's the notion that you, you have all the
Thank you.